Oh, we got audio. I can do that actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How good is to have a flip on screen? Now we can see <laughs> yeah. No use to that. <laughs> <laughs> if everything worked, you should have seen some pretty epic shots for the intro. If you didn't see any epic shots, it means it didn't work. <laughs> the plan didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we had to come back and uh, we have to put it back to the next time. So hopefully, uh, yeah, it worked. I forgot. This is Nelson. <laughs> How's the good night, people? <laughs> you may have seen Nelson in my previous vlog uh, on the Mavic Air 2. Uh, we did an epic road trip, epic boring road trip. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to link up the. Is it going to be here? Or you, you know. I think it, it should be. It should here be here. I'll, I'll put the link yeah. here. Otherwise, it would be in the description. Go check it out. We had a lot of fun flying drones. But now it is a different thing. We are going to not fly drone, but put a gimbal. Uh, let me show you. That's here. It's really windy. This is what we're putting on the top of the car. We are going to attach it here. So that's my vibration isolator. And if you want to go back into part one where I go through the whole building of this setup, I'm going to put another link in the bio. Just make sure you watch this one because uh, this is a total DIY. I made it myself for less than $300. And now we are going to see if I can put a lot of camera gear on this and if it actually works. Let's get started. Right now I've got the red Komodo, I'm going to film in 6K, 40 frames per second and we've got an SDI cable that runs directly from the Ronin too so all the cables are, all the wires are internal to the gimbal and uh, I've got the SDI here that runs directly to uh, my control center so I've got the iPad here where I'm going to pull focus directly from uh, red control and here I've got zoom control, I've got full gimbal control with all three axes and uh, here I've got a small HD Cine 7 to actually see what I'm filming. Are you ready? ready He's ready, so let's do this. Let's drive around and let's try not to lose that thing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> are you scared? Excited? How are you feeling? Go. <laughs> Time to focus on you. Uh, yeah, gotcha. Oh wow, that's pretty scary. It feels like he's actually looking at me. <laughs> so good we haven't lost the camera the gimbal is still here Nelson is going to give it a go now it's been a complete success actually <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty happy with the shots we got. we'll see with the shots on the computer but so far what we've seen looks epic yeah 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 I'm very happy for for a sub $300 system like what you can get Definitely. I'm really proud of your engineering <laughs> skills. <laughs> we'll see if it lasts on the long term. So we've been using the autofocus of the Komodo actually so far and it's been really good. And eventually um, what I did is I used the Nucleus Nano M here to pull the zoom. So the model is not powerful enough technically to pull zoom but it's kind of working. Um, if I tilt up the issue is since it's a 24-70 to Canon uh, as the barrel comes out 
the motor has to use too much power and uh, goes into safe mode, and uh, which means I have to recalibrate. And uh, if it goes into overload mode, I need to stop the car and I need to reset. So basically unplug and replug the motor. So that's um, something to keep in mind if I want to improve the system. But overall, the controls are not too bad. My remote is a bit uh, of a MacGyver. Here we've got the running to control. Here zoom control. I've got my phone with the red control up. A great experience. Now Nelson is going to give it a go. Let's have a look at the footage. Yo.